Welcome everyone to the Stitch Phase number 40, the one year anniversary. <laughs> Happy birthday, Stitch Phase. Woo! Uh, as of tomorrow, it will be exactly 365 days from the first Stitch Phase. So we have our one year anniversary event happening today. Uh, We've got uh, we've got a lot of people here, uh, including Marf, the winner of the first ever Stitch Face, uh, coming back for the one year anniversary here. Going, uh, we'll see if he can uh, get the repeat again for the one year anniversary of the Stitch Face. As always, we're in the Fernwood Community Center. We've got uh, almost 30 entrants, I think. Pretty good turnout uh, for today. Uh, we've got we've got special guests. Um, yeah, of course, Marf, like I mentioned, we've got Taima coming in from the mainland. Uh, we, of course, have a bunch of good island players. Uh, Machu, of course, number one on the island. Uh, Kuro Rin, uh, ranked number two on the island. We've got uh, Furiz, who will be Rin's opponent coming up right now. This is winner's quarters. Here we go. Uh, winner's quarters, we've got Furiz versus Kuro. long set history playing against each other through playing uh, Pyramithra. Uh, not not uh, not a new character for Orion, but uh, not not the not the main name as of uh, the last uh, last I checked. So maybe maybe new uh, go-to main or m maybe he just likes this uh, matchup into Phobos but or uh, into Furious uh, for the Zelda but Furious making uh, the, the Zelda matchup look pretty good for Pyramithra Attack gets them there. <laughs> yeah, up tilt from uh, Pyra, definitely gonna kill. Even stop count now. Yeah, I mean, surely, surely on paper, uh, this is a winning matchup for Pyra Mithra. But. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, on the on the official Smash tier list that came out from Alt Rank today, Zelda was, I think, like the eighth worst character in the game. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, Pyramith was ranked number two, uh, second best in the game. Uh, Pyramith were the se <laughs> ranked second best in the game. Uh, Zelda ranked ranked eighth worst in the game. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people would say Pyramithra definitely wins this matchup, but they don't know fear is. People just don't know how good Zelda is. Um, oh, and here we go. The up tilt. Kuro takes it. Last stock now. Phantom at ledge. Furious goes off himself. Gonna get ledge trapped by Mithra. All that frame data, all that movement. Now 
getting ledge trapped by Pyra. Karom giving up uh, the, the ledge, uh, going to towards center stage. Um, yeah, opting to just take center stage rather than continue the ledge trap. Oh, there we go. Gets uh, the grab off the get up. Yeah, that Pyra down air, it's... it's I mean, it's an instant kill if, if you catch the up beat with it, but I, I feel like Zelda is... Oh, getting the re-grab, though. All right. Kuro taking game one. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Yeah, uh... Rin has definitely played Pyromithra um, in the past quite a bit. Uh, one, of, one of the sort of staples of the, of the Kuro uh, character list. This is the first game I've seen Rin play today, so I don't know if this is like the new main, you know, the, uh, the one he's planning on going all tourney. Um, or if this is just a character thing, or if it's just how, just how he's feeling today, I don't know. Um, but yeah, haven't seen haven't seen the Pyromithra coming in game one for a while, and yeah, staying game two. Obviously, it worked winning game one, so staying game two makes sense. It was really close though. Um, Furious was in the lead for most of that game one. In the lead for this game too, though, but um, Brynn can just find those kills so early, especially with Pyra. Both of these characters can kill you super early. Honestly, I'm survived. I'm I'm amazed both of these characters are survived as long as they have. There we go. F smash. Okay. Switching to Mithra. Yeah, Furious is not quite at the point where and uh, any uh, Pyra move will just definitely kill. So, getting out of that percent a bit more. And Mithra does have kill power, so... Uh, yeah, we just saw him going for F smash at ledge there. That's, um... That might have killed. Pyra's F... Uh, or Mithra's F smash is still not that bad. Ooh, there we go, up till. Okay, only 36% on to Kuro right now. Pretty even. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kuro just sort of dashing in, dashing out, using those burst options, keeping Furas on his toes. Furas um, doing his best to stay on his toes, throwing out those phantoms, uh, just sort of trying to keep his distance. Oh, down tilt up there. So crazy that that works. Oh wow, that killed that up smash. All right, yeah, Rin, uh, pretty good now. There we go, Mithra down smash. Furious struggling to get some momentum going, just getting Mithra. Kuro getting that ledge trapping. Oh, but the down tilt dash attack from Furious. Gonna send Rin to the ledge this time, but it gets off with a Mithra fair. Throw. Okay, Fira sets up the phantom. Yeah, when Zelda just sets up the phantom, you just kind of have to disengage a little bit or really go in. Um, sort of forces you to make that commit to a choice like that. Prominence revolt. Okay, lightning kick from ledge. Here is. It's dead even in percent, but Kuro with the stock lead at 92%. Furious could die to a lot of things. But Furious looking to take the kill for himself. Rapid jab from Pyra is not going to kill. It's going to send Furious off. Setting up. Oh, there we go. The up there from Furious uh, beating out Pyra's down air. Letting him return to stage. Doing a little bit of extra damage. Both of them now above 100%. Furious up to 136. Yeah, switching to Mithra. Mithra will kill now. And the down smash, that's going to do it. Kuro takes oh. it to... Oh. 
perfect time for me to show up. What's up, gamer? Right at the end of the set. I have a, what's up? I have a buy an amateur bracket, so. Let's go. I'm chilling.